Good morning, boys and girls, or afternoon or evening. This is Miss Catherine from the Fredrickson Library. And today we're uh, going to do another session of craft grab and go bags. Now, for those of you who are new, craft grab and go bags um, happen twice a month at the Fredrickson Library. I do a craft, I videotape it, and you can pick up your bag and all its supplies at the Fredrickson Library the Saturday before the week that. Um, all the information is posted. So um, it's free. You do not need to register for the program. Now, a lot of our other programs, almost all of them, are ones that you need to register for. But the bags do go very quickly. So I recommend you get there Friday um, if you want to ensure that you get a bag or bags for your family. Uh, it's a good project to do as a group, maybe a brother or sister or two sisters or you know your cousin and you can do it at home. It's good to have an adult if you're young, uh, very young to ha help you uh, maybe cut out or, or glue things or do things um, to finish the craft. But for those of you who are a little bit older, you can do it on your own. You can watch the video. So. Uh, the video is posted to Facebook and is at Fredrickson's website. If you go to the website and click on At Home Fun uh, under Children's, you will see it and it'll take you to the link right there. So without further ado, let's get started. So today we're going to do polar bears. The theme is polar bears. Um, before I forget, the next one that I'm going to be doing, uh, I believe, I'm pretty sure we're going to do, I'm going to do lions. So um, you can be thinking about different um, things that you know about lions. But uh, today is going to be polar bears. So this is what we're going to make. I want to show you. They're puppets. So you can have a little puppet theater with your friends and have a polar bear puppet play. So this is one. This is a polar bear puppet and he actually twists his head. He's very cute. Um, and you can make him twist his arms and legs, and I'll show you how to do that. But for my puppet, just twists his head. And the other one is a paper bag puppet. And that. This one. Okay? Whoops. Can you see his little pan there? Oh, whoops. Okay. Oh, well, anyways, his, his hand. I just want to show you his hands. There we go. So he's just about to eat a little fish. All right, so uh, let's get started. And you know that I always like to start with a joke or two uh, and then tell you a little bit of the facts about the uh, animal or usually it's an animal that we're studying or that we're looking at. And then we'll do the craft and we'll end with some jokes as well. Sometimes I have a poem or a little story. Uh, but there are lots of books at the Fredrickson Library that you can check out on polar bears. And I have a list in your bag is a list of recommended books, but there are a lot more. And um, at other libraries, you can request them or you can uh, come to our library and check out those books. So let's get started with my joke. All right. What do polar bears like to eat? You know what? This is cute. They like to eat brrrr when you're cold. Ritos. All right. And what do you call a polar bear on thin ice? An ice breaker. All right. Well, let's get started on learning some things about polar bears. Um, maybe you can tell your adult or a friend what you know about polar bears, but after this program, you should know a little bit more about polar bears. So, Polar bears are giant white bears. Now you may have seen pictures of them or even seen one in a zoo, but they live far north in the freezing Arctic where it's really, really cold. In fact, we don't live there because it's too cold for us humans. They live on the ice in the winter and on land in the summer once the ice melts. Polar bears do not hibernate. You may know uh, or you may have learned that um, other bears hibernate during the winter and they sleep, but polar bears do not. When they have their babies, they have them in a little cave that they've dug in the snow. Um, and their babies are really small. They only weigh about a pound, which is very, very small. You could hold that in the palm of your hand. Um, so, uh, 
and the polar bear babies or the cubs stay with the mom and look for food uh, until they learn how to do that well uh, polar bears are big and they're heavy in fact polar bears grow up to 10 feet long all right and i'm going to show you a ruler here's a ruler and a ruler is 12 uh 12 inches long so you can imagine and that equals one foot but they grow up to 10 feet tall a polar bear and they weigh over 1400 pounds the males now the females weigh a little less than that they're about as large as a lion now a lot of you may have seen a lion two pictures of a lion or seen him in a zoo those are really really big animals so polar bears are really really big too do you know that the largest polar bear weighed 2,000 over 2,000 pounds which is about the same as a car so imagine the car that you drive around in with your an adult with your adult and that's how big a polar bear is so that's big they can live up to about 25 years of age so not as long as humans but they can live pretty darn long do you know now boys and girls when you think of a polar bear what color do you think of well, you know what, I think of white, and that is indeed what they are. But do you know that white color is really um, made from the polar bear's fur, and the fur is really like little hollow tubes, and the light reflects on it and makes it look white. But underneath those little hollow tubes, or the, that fur that sticks out, are is a big, thick layer of fat, and that fat is black. And that's what really keeps the polar bear warm. And the polar bear, when he swims and he gets wet, um, he is their fur is very, very oily and water repellent. So the water, when they shake it off like a dog, it just shakes right off. It doesn't stick on them because otherwise they'd be cold and it wouldn't really work very well. So um, that's how they uh, keep warm and look white now their paws are huge all right their paws measure 12 inches across so here's a ruler again 12 inches and this is not quite in 12 inches but it make it a little bit longer and that's the size of their paw so they're really 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 big all right and their paws help them to swim do you know polar bears can swim well, obviously, if they're in the Arctic, there's not much there but snow and ice and water. But the, their paw pads, the bottom of their pads, have little rough edges. They're sort of rough. So when they walk around on the ice, they don't slip. They have super razor sharp teeth to eat um, their meals with. And they mostly eat seal blubber, which is seal fat, because they need all that fat so they can stay warm in the winter. All right, because they need to stay warm. Otherwise, they may get very, very sick. And do you know that um, polar bears hunt out their uh, prey by different methods? But one of the methods, it, methods is an opening in the ice, and they're called ice sleeves or breathing holes. And they, a polar bear will wait, sit by the hole for hours um, or even for days until a seal comes through the surface and then it'll snatch them. Um, and they can sniff out their meal on the ice 20 miles away or at a breathing hole more than a half a mile away. So that's a long, long way. That's as long as maybe your best friend lives away from you. I don't know, but it's, it's a ways. Um, and they can also hunt by swimming underwater. So they love the water, they love in and out of the water, but they're definitely cold um, environment animals. So let's get on to our craft. That's just some facts for you to, to know. All right, so I think we're gonna start with this polar bear first. So you have in your bag a template that looks like this. Okay, that looks like this. And it has the paws, the head, the body, and the two little ears. So I have mine all cut out. 
So here's mine. So I'm going to start with a head. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a little hole in the middle of this round circle. Now, I wasn't able to get a hole puncher that extended this far. So we're just going to use a little um, a push pin. And we're just going to push a little pin. And this is where you might want to have an adult help you. You're just going to push a little hole through the uh, middle of this circle. All right. And then I'm going to push another little hole right at the top, pretty close to the top, right up here. You see that? Right up there at the top right up there, push a little hole in. Okay, that's just like my starter hole. Now, I have a brad. This is called a brad or a fastener. You may have, we use these on some other crafts in Craft Grab and Go, but for those of you who are new, that's what it's called. So I'm gonna take my little um, small circle and I'm gonna push it, push this brad through it. I'd have to sort of pr apply pressure. All right, so now the brad is through. All right, then I'm going to push it also through this hole in the big circle. And now I have my head onto my body. I'm going to, there are like two little arms back here. I'm going to push those aside. And I'm going to um, then have the head and the body attached. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, glue my pom-pom ball on here. All right, so I'm gonna get my glue. And I'll put it on and I'm gonna glue it. And I'm gonna put it right on here, okay? I'm gonna glue it right on top of the brad, all right? Then I'm going to take my two eyes and I'm going to glue those on. And I find it easier to just put the glue right on the paper rather than try to put it on the eyes. It's a lot harder that way. So I just put my little drops of glue at the top and then I put my eyes right on the glue. Okay, now I have my googly eyes. There they are. Okay. Now I'm going to draw my mouth. Now I did not include any drawing implements, but you can use a Sharpie pen, which is what I used. You can also use a black crayon. You can use a, um, a, uh, a colored pencil, a black colored pencil anything that you can use. You can even use a Q-tip and paint to paint it on. Take the end of a Q-tip, dip it into black paint and paint it on. So I'm going to make his mouth, which looks like this. All right, just kind of like two circles coming down. Okay, here are my two circles coming down. Now I need to add ears. So I'm going to add my ears. I'm going to glue them on. Just add a little glue at the bottom of the ear on both sides and glue it on. And glue it on to the back of the, the um, bear. And you don't need them very big. They don't have very big ears. So now I glue my little ears on. All right. Now I'm going to glue my arms and my legs on. And Boys and girls, you're gonna to have to cut out all these pieces, but then you have them, and I'm gonna glue my arms and my legs on. And you can just put them either way. You can put them up or to the side. I like to sort of have them go up. He looks like he's happy. And you just kind of have to guesstimate where they go. And then the legs. So here are my arms. And now I'm going to put my legs on. It's kind of hard to do it up in the air. Okay. And you kind of double check to make sure that they're 
the same length. And now I have my bear. And see, my arm is starting to slip. So the best thing that I can recommend for this is just press down on it and give it a minute, well, more than a minute, maybe like five minutes to dry. Okay? And then once you have, once it's dry, now you're going to add the little um, extras on the paws and the ears. Do you see I have little paw prints and his ears? So again, I'm going to take my magic marker or my um, Sharpie. And I'm going to put little circles. These are for his paws. Do you see? Three little circles at the top of his paws. And both on his feet and his arms. And then I'm going to kind of draw a little heart shape right underneath. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Do you see how that looks like a little heart? And I'm gonna color that in. And, okay, I'm gonna color it in. And again, a Q-tip works really well for this if you have paint, black paint at home. But again, you may not, or you may not wanna use it, which is totally fine. And you can also use a black pen. That's the other thing. And almost everybody has a black pen at home. Okay. And now I'm just going to color in the little inside of his ears. Just like, so to sort of show that they're a different color. All right. And I just, I use a, a silver Sharpie. But again, you can use a pencil that works just as well. And if you want to, you can also do it black but I like the gray because it's really not black inside his, his ears. There he is, boys and girls, and now he can move his head. Now, if you want him to move his arms and his legs, you would do the same as you did with the nose, but with the arms and the legs, and so then he could move his arms and legs, but I didn't do that. Okay, so that's one. Oops, my nose is starting to come off. I'm gonna to need to put some more glue on. And again, it's good to just let this sit and not touch it for a while till everything gets uh, nice and firm. So I'm going to put him aside. Now I'm going to do my paper bag puppet. So I have my paper bag. Here's my paper bag. And I want to face it so this side is in front of me, not this side, the flat side. All right. And now I'm going to glue my two little eyes down. I'm going to start with eyes. So I get my little glue bottle and I put two little eye, two drops, so the eyes go where the eyes go. Okay, there we go. I've got my two little eyes. Now I want my, uh, Pom-pom. Now this is the bigger of the two pom-poms. The smaller one goes on the little puppet uh, that moves its head. The bigger one goes on here. And I don't need a brad, I just put it on with glue. So I put it on with glue right in the middle there. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to put the two little cheeks, put them off to the side. Press down. And again, boys and girls, this might be a good idea to just let this, and the video, I'm not going to do it, but just let it dry a little bit because the pom-poms need a little bit to dry. Now I might add my fish, okay, my fish to the picture. And boys and girls, for some of you who are very young and have difficulty cutting every little line out, you don't have to do that. You just kind of cut around, okay? No big deal. Just cut around close to the fish, like this, okay? And I'm gonna glue my fish right under his mouth, as if the fish were just hopping into his mouth, just for a nice lunch, for dinner, for breakfast. So I'm gonna put that on. 
whoops, there goes my little cheek. He wants to come off right underneath a little bit. You want to be able to see his eye. It's kind of nice to see his eye. Okay. And again, this, this pom-pom is not really sticking. It's hard when I have to hold it up. Okay, now the next thing, this is the one that's made. I want little arms. So I do the same thing that I did with the other one in terms of drawing on the arms. But you should have a little, a little cut out like this. So you want to cut it out and fold it in half. Then cut that in half and that'll be his two arms. Glue those on, and you can do it with the lines showing, the black lines or not, it's up to you. It doesn't really matter. And these are his arms, so I glue them on the back, and I kind of glue them right there. And again, press down so it sticks, and have them sort of be at the same place. One is a little bit. This one needs to come down a little bit. There, they kind of look even. There we go. Okay, now again, I'm going to add my little paw pads. Okay. Make my little heart. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to add my little ears. Okay, I didn't cut the ears out, so I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to glue them on. So here I have my little ear cut out. I'm going to glue it on. Okay, here are my little ears, and I'm going to add again a little bit of gray in the middle at the bottom of the inner ear. This looks a little bit of gray. This has a little bit of gray. Not much. Okay, there we go. And now, last but not least, I'm going to draw. Well, first of all, I want to cut. I'm going to get my bigger scissors. I want to cut, this says Duro, that's the name of the company that produces the bags. So most of your arms are a lot shorter than my arms, so I just cut this off right at Duro, right there, so you don't see it, all right? Then I have a nice clear, clear crisp white bottom, and I last but not least, I draw a little tummy on him. And that's just sort of a half circle. Okay. Like this. There's his tongue. And there he is. Excuse me, boys and girls. And that's it. So now we have our two puppets. And this one, um, the stick is probably dried now and everything is dried. And this one, you might want to let it dry a little bit more. Um, oh, wait. I forgot. One other thing. So see how I added a little bit of the wool, the black wool, to make part of his mouth. So we're going to do that. So what you want to do is you want to cut off two pieces. Now you can make it as long or as short as you want it. I gave you maybe a little bit long. Uh, I, I want to make mine a little bit shorter so I'm going to cut off the ends a little bit. I don't want it so long. 
And then what I do is I just put a little line of glue, sort of as a half circle, right from the nose. And then I'm just gonna lay my I put the I put the glue on. I don't know if you can see it. And then I'm going to lay this down right on it. It's much easier than trying to put the glue on the wool. And then of course I have a a big for, for mine I have it really long. So I'm just going to cut it off. And you may need to add a little bit more glue depending on how long you want the mouth to be. And you may need to add a little bit more glue to your paper as well, to your um, puppet. There we go. Now I add them on. And again, it's good to let it uh, rest a little bit and dry. So that's it, boys and girls. Now we have the two puppets. Here's, I'll just hold them. So you can see and you have them and they're very very cute okay so I want to just end with a few jokes all right so what kind of hugs do polar bears give bear hugs have you ever been told oh give me a nice sweet bear hug or been given a bear hug it's just a nice big warm hug fuzzy hug that feels so good how does a polar bear catch fish? With his bare hands. Okay, bear as in nothing is on them or bear as in polar bear, a bear. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me. I really enjoyed doing this craft with you and I look forward to the next time, which will be uh, in March, the very beginning of March. If you need, if you can't remember the schedule, just look at it online or come by the library and get a schedule. Either way is fine. And let us know how you enjoy the craft. We're there at the, front, at the desk in the children's department. So until then, have a great day. It's actually snowing outside. A polar bear would be very happy in this weather, but we need a whole lot more snow. So I'm glad we don't live in the Arctic because uh, that would be a lot of shoveling and a lot of snow. So anyways, have a great day. See you next time, boys and girls. Goodbye.